Now that you've installed SQL Server 2014 Express with tools, which we really want is your uh, SQL Server Management Studio, let's go and download a database that's been backed up and restore that file. If you go out to your Learning Suite course, and if you go to Wednesday, September 7th, you'll see a link that says Download and Restore the Layman's Baseball Database. There's a link to that database and I want you to download that file and save it onto your system. After you've saved that file somewhere on your computer, I want you to open up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Now that you've opened it up and you've connected hopefully to your SQL Express database that we set up earlier, our connection, I want you to click on uh, the database tab and if you notice currently under database all we have are system databases. So under database you're going to highlight that and right mouse click and choose restore database. Under restore database you're going to click on device and this is where you're going to go and choose the file you just downloaded. So you click on the ellipsis, the three dots, and then you're going to go click on add and then we got to go find where that database is. Now, in this case, I've stored it in multiple places, but in my case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go out to the user that I have, and you'll just have to navigate to wherever you're at. In my case, I'm going to go to Users, Prof. Greg, Documents, My Documents, BYU, IS-402, Databases. Now, in Database Backups. This is where I stored all my database backups. Wherever you stored it, that's where you're going to navigate over here to find that file. Highlight the backed up database file. If you notice, I'll have a file extension .bak. Select that file and click OK. This now says we're going to go ahead and restore a database from this backup file. Click OK. And it now says this is the file that you want to work with. And there's our database and we want to restore that. Now that you have that database selected that you want to restore, all you have to do is click on the OK button and it will begin to restore that database to your system. Once it finishes restoring, you'll see a message that it restored. Click OK. And then back here in our database system, You'll see that the database is there. If you highlight that, you can see all the tables are there and uh, other data that we need in order to work with this database. So the biggest thing you've got to remember is when you're back here on this database and you're importing it, is to, when you go to select that file, remember where you saved that on your system and then navigate to that site. Uh, in my case, I had to navigate through a bunch of different pathways to get there, but that was because of security that I had on my system, permissions and so forth. If you're struggling with this, please come and get help. Either the TAs or myself would love to help you restore a database, and then you can start working with it. Have fun.